Welcome to Face to Face. This is a show about change and about what's next. It's a show that wants to ask questions, peel back the layers of our average everyday experience, and go beyond scratching the surface. We interview amazing people with incredible ideas and stories who have done wild, weird, and wonderful things. Remember that imagination shared create collaboration, and collaboration creates community, and community inspires social change. I'm David Peck, and this is Face to Face. So this next interview was, was an absolute delight for me, and, and, and the film as well, The Happiest Day in the Life of Ali Mackey. And I'm, uh, I'm speaking today with Yuho, the director, and Yarko, uh, the main actor, uh, a Finnish film, uh, a film that you're, gonna, you're going to fall in love with. It, it's remarkable on so many levels. We, we talk about, primarily about the film, I guess, I mean, you know, the backdrop is, is boxing, it's, it's uh, wonderful imagery, a beautiful metaphor and so on, but it really is a love story. It's about being home. That's been definitely uh, uh, a theme at the Toronto International Film Festival. And, and there's certainly other is- issues that are going on, this notion of public and private and about sports and about um, um, a metaphor in general, really, in how 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 boxing is 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 uh, is a violent sport, but in some respects has also uh, such a uh, well, it, it's just such a as Yarko would say, it's such a metaphor for life and and for so many things. So so uh, check it out; you're going to love the film. You really are. It's it's going to get noticed, in my opinion, by by many. And you're going to enjoy this film, davidpecklive.com, for more information on podcasts, rabble.ca. You'll find more there. And this, I think, is number 11 or 12 uh, of my series in the Toronto International Film Festival this year. Uh, And here we go with The Happiest Day in the Life of Ali Mackey. Well, welcome to Face to Face. We're joined by two very special guests here today at the Toronto International Film Festival. I think this is about interview 11 for me, believe it or not. So okay. it's, uh, yeah, and uh, about only only 26 more to go. It's, uh, uh-huh. Yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy festival, but I'm delighted you guys are joining me here today in Toronto at the Soho Hotel. Uh, we've got Yuho here and Yarko. I uh, hope I got the pronunciation sort of close. It was close, close yeah. enough. <laughs> close enough, yeah. yes, yeah. Do you want to tell us your full name so that I avoid my embarrassment? On, uh-huh. on, yeah. Okay, so my name is Juho Kuosmanen. And you're the director, I'm writer? I'm the director, yeah, and writer. And, and yeah. pretty much everything else? Yes, I was involved with everything. Pretty much did a little <laughs> bit of electrical work on the set, no doubt? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I bet. Uh, and actually, we were shooting it. My uh, in my apartment, so we had to also some <laughs> so some, also some, some r- cleaning after after the shooting. Some location work as well. Yes. Nice, I like it. And I'm uh, Jarkko Lahti, the protagonist of the of the film. So first of all, congratulations! Um, I just recently saw the film. I have to say, uh, absolutely delightful. Uh, what, Honestly, without 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 a doubt, one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen. Wow, um, that's it, absolutely. That's nice to hear. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, if if uh, it's well, it's already been quite well noticed. Uh, you won an award. Tell us about the award. Uh, the the Khan, uh, at Khan. You, yes, yeah. yes, the Unset and Regard. And how how, how how did that all pan out for you? Was there lots of drinking and uh, carousing after the after the award? I I think that you can it, admit we're in Northern America. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, we have, we had a very very long premiere parties, but then after the the award, I think we were already a bit exhausted of this. Like like one and a, we stayed there like one and a half week. Oh wow, that's a lot. So yeah, it's a lot of food, a lot of shaking of hands, a lot of alcohol. I would imagine it's, it, yes, it gets yes. a little much, right? Yeah. Eventually. Yeah, it was like everything was a, a bit too much. Do you find <laughs> that kind of stuff as a filmmaker uh, and, an, and an artist? Do you find that kind of stuff a little bit um, um, over the top? Kind of almost drudgery in a way. Just got to do it because that's part of the business. Y- yes, I yeah. mean it's it's nice, but it's uh, now we've been traveling quite a lot with this yeah. one, so yeah. it's it's uh, kind of like uh, kind of like your character in a way. Yeah, you know, this is a film that never stops. There's no yeah. end for a film because yeah. immediately yeah. you walk yeah. out from the from the cinema, it just continues to go on and on. You know. The, so the, the fo- photo shootings and, and e- eating in two fancy restaurants and, and yes, so we are, oh, you're we are bre- living you're, these scenes again you're breaking and again. My, you're breaking my heart now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. it's just too many fancy restaurants. So the happiest yeah. day, the happiest day in the life of Ali Mackey. Um, it's really not about boxing at all. No, 
not about boxing at all. Can we start with my favorite quote from the film? Yeah. Uh, the the uh, the manager, uh, your your Ollie's manager, um, says, you know, quote, it's a, sh a shitty time to fall in love. Close yeah. quote. Yeah. We're about I don't know what forty five minutes into the story, thirty five minutes into the story, uh, realizing that your character is quite distracted to say the least. <laughs> yeah. Why why use boxing to tell a love story? What what? Why use boxing oh. to tell such a lovely, beautiful, heartwarming love story? Uh, well, it's based on true, true char characters, so, so we didn't want to change the history. So, <laughs> and uh, I think for me, in the, in the first place, when I, when I got this idea, like, okay, I want to make film out of Olli Mäki, uh, like a portrait. Uh, it's not the biopic, but uh, but uh, I think it's more like a portrait. Mm, mm. And I think I was more afraid to this boxing genre than fascinated about it. And but, but I but then I thought, okay, this is it's actually because there is so many boxing films. Mm, it's mm. actually something that you can play with. I mean, right. And they are they are also making a boxing film in our, in our film, this documentary crew, and uh, That's so right, film so, within a film. Yeah, it's almost the genre in a way, isn't it? The boxing. Film. Yeah, um, and we are like the opposite. I think that was kind of I don't, funny. I, funny setup. I don't like so, boxing. Yeah. Do, do do either of you really like boxing? Yes, I'm, I'm a huge fan of boxing. And you actually worked. I mean, you you. Rehearsed practice. Well, You've been yeah, four and a half years for the for the role, and uh, took two. Uh, I went competing twice. Oh, okay. To the lightweight, and I love it. Oh, is that right, eh? Yeah. And what do you love about it? Do you love the? Is it? Well, is it's it? a, for me. It's like, it's the metaphor of life. It's kind of a, you know. It's so kind of, naked kind of sport, where it's just two guys, or two two girls like, end up. Uh, Taking measure, measuring their strengths against each other in a controlled manner. Anyway, mm. it's not a violence, you know. I don't like violence, <laughs> you know. And boxing, in my opinion, has nothing to do with violence. It's about respecting. It's about respecting yourself, respecting the hard work, training, respecting the opponent and the ring and the coach and whatever. So it's a, on a many level at the same time, like uh, teaching yourself to respect things and uh, and take out from your body and your psyche like everything that there is it's like it's like being an artist you know trying to develop all the time incredible amount of focus and discipline yeah, yeah. And, and passion yeah exactly so and for me boxing is i'm i'm not like a of course I, it's good to say that i'm not any high profile boxer but mm -hmm. still you know i can understand what what is it about I mean, and uh, I don't know. It's I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Interesting. That's, yeah. that's a really interesting take on it. I would. It's not that I disagree with you. I just I have never been drawn to it. Mm. I've always found it, and maybe it's because of some of the films I've seen. Mm. I, you know, I've always found it to be this just this kind of vicious, violent kind yeah. of way yeah. of I don't know um, exploiting two two really uh, you know good looking and strong guys or or women. Yeah, you yeah know, as I have case, to admit. Case, yeah, I have to admit that can be the case. Well, it of certainly course. comes out yeah. of the film too, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, that exploitation and yeah. that great shot of of Ollie looking at the poster of the of of the um, champ. the lifestyle advertisement. Yeah, you know, when they yeah. put him on the stool, it's so wonderful. It's just yeah. such a great <laughs> moment, right? Talking about exploitation. Yeah, and yeah, it's. Uh, what, what was I thinking? I'm on, you can see I'm very tired already. Yes, <laughs> so it's like, all the partying. So it's, uh, it's yeah, it has been quite a lot. Oh, no, I'm sure it's exa it's been exhausting. Uh, for me, I, I think the uh, the moment when I g uh, g gave myself like a uh, this that, that that I'm it's I'm allowed to like boxing to watching boxing. Right, right, right. I think that that almost happened to me that when I was watching like boxing films, mm. a lot of them I, I didn't like the 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 image of uh, this 
male characters or these images mm. of heroes. And, and yeah. But then I, I read this book called Unboxing by Joyce Carol Oates. And I think that really changed my view on boxing. Like, yeah, okay, I, I'm, I, I'm allowed to like this. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, I think uh, well, I mean, she, she's a boxing fan, like, like very, very hardcore boxing fan. The way you, I mean, clearly the film is about boxing in a sense. I mean, it's, mm. it's, 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 it's what the story's about. It's about this match, this world f sort of famous match in a sense, certainly a, 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 um, a, for the time and for the country, it was a pretty big deal. And yet on a certain level, I didn't quite realize until the end, um, um, everyone kind of expected your character to only to lose in a way, didn't they? Like it, it was really weird to me that, that that whole dynamic of all this prep and even your comment. Well, at least I lose to somebody who's yeah. actually a good fighter. Which that, was that, just, that, that is actually uh, it's quite that a, is all this real life. That is real life. He, he said it's it in words. one uh, interview. Yeah, and that's I think that's it's very fabulous. Yeah, it's funny. it's kind of uh, gives a kind of a good picture of this this guy the real Olli Maki I mean that he's kind of a you know he's a passionate boxer but at the same time he's like a totally of aware what's mm. what's like what's important in life like mm. all the time mm. Mm. so for him I believe boxing was all, always a play or like a game like a kids play I mean you know so he's like delighted to show what he got and you know, like, uh, and uh, learn about himself more and more, and whatever. But at the same time, it's only a play. It's only a game. It's, it's only a game. Yeah, yeah, come on. It's not like, mm. you know, you can't take yourself too seriously in a way. You know. Well, he was far. He was clearly, and this is uh, for sure. I would imagine pretty intentional. Uh, he was so much more interested in the little, the little things. Yeah. The little things, yeah. right? Yeah, Conversa like conversation, falling in love. I mean, the scenes with the riding of the bicycles are just so delightful, showing you know how they're kind of becoming so affectionate towards one another, and yet that's what he really wants to be doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to be in the sauna. I don't want to be <laughs> practicing. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> and and uh, yeah, he. I think <laughs> it was that under that pressure, he he really what he finds in a way it's the lightness, the playfulness. Of, life and the, the beauty of life again and yeah I think that's 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 something that for me w what I liked this real Olli Mackie what why, why I can consider him as a hero for me I think that's something um, that even though there was huge pressure everybody was waiting like it was high, very high, expect uh, high expectations Absolutely. for yep. him, and still under this kind of situation, he can uh, hold on to what, what, what he he thought was important in in life. Yeah, and it's he's he, he's capable of like defining himself. Yeah, not to let the outsiders define him. Well, the mo yeah. I gotta say, for me, I almost brought a tear to my eye. In fact, probably did actually. I'll I'll admit it. Um, when he says to Raya that, you know, what if I fail? Mm. What if I disappoint? What if I disappoint you? Mm. And then her response is, okay, <laughs> well, that's that's pretty much their problem. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's nothing to do with who you are. Yeah, oh, yeah. and by the way, I love you either way. Yeah. Which is just, right? I mean, if yeah, this isn't the stuff of life, I don't know what is. Yeah, yeah because that's, that's something I, I think uh, when we think about sport heroes, we we do not know them. We know just right. the, we, we are like uh, they are our uh, what you call. I, I mean, they're like the what you use in a game to yeah to game play. pieces yeah game pieces yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure we, and manip we manip manipulate and, and exploit right yeah and I think that can be like very very cruel because then then you are like there is this image of boxing hero. And then you have to act like people are hoping and wanting you to act. It's not like you're not allowed to be yourself. Yeah, it's a and tiny norm in a way. Kind yes, of way it's a right. Behave. Yeah. If you are considered as a hero, then you have to be as a he be hero. Otherwise, 
you are like just disappointed. There was a profound, to me, sense of humility in the way you portray his character, and maybe that's partially something about you know you, who you are as a you know as a person, a human as well, but a human being as well. <laughs> but but you were very clearly conscious of, of the shots you show us of his sort of his weakness, his his inabilities, his fears, his insecurities. Uh, you know, falling over in the in the in the shower. You know, mm -hmm. this is maybe not. The, the guy who should be doing this this match, maybe he should be a baker, right? After mm. all, you know, or a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have you, to, you humanized him in a way that yeah. was so brilliant. Yeah. Well, that's that was something that we uh, talked about all the way. I that, bet uh, there is this uh, public image, and then the intimate life, and and that's good. and they are not like all the time like easy to fit on each other. Mm. It can be really, really kind of a, really hard. And <clears throat> scenes like that, to fall or or whatever, you know, it's it, it's something just for like, uh, for the spectator's eyes, but not for the public eyes, for the character in a fiction, you right, know? Right, right. So in a way, I, it's relieving for me at least as a human being mm -hmm. to, uh, as a spectator of the film now, to have a chance to look at someone's life, just like, okay, thank God it's relieving you to fall down, or you, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of mm -hmm. a, mm -hmm. then I'm allowed to, I can allow right. myself all the mistakes that sure, I sure. made of, you know, yes. yeah. so it's, it's, it's important. Uh, did I read somewhere, Yoho, that you said in an interview, um, you weren't really interested uh, on the, the surface, you wanted to go backstage? You were far more interested in what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. I, I think th that's something that is almost in every scene of the film. There is always like the, this public image uh, versus uh, the the inner feelings, and uh, I think that's part of the comedy element that we, we, we are having in, in in most of the scenes. And yeah, I'm always. I think it's much more interesting to see the backstage. Then, then the uh, what what has been built on the real is that your, is that your you're, you're trained in theater to some degree, right? Your theatrical background is that y yes. So are you more is, is it better for you? Is it more engaging for you when the curtains are closed and you're behind? Well, I think there's, there's always there, right? yeah, yeah. There's like like uh, <coughs> there's much more uh, <laughs> comedy in the in the backstage. Oh. Than, uh, well, I mean, it's the real I mean, life too. It's the real it? life, and it's it's uh, yeah. I, I think it's, uh, and it was very something that I was very interested in this and in, in uh, also in boxing. When I went to see boxing, I uh, and these weighing uh, events and and photo shootings. It was nice to see that that the the pictures that I, that they take before the the fight and these guys like really pu um, yeah, pushing, pushing each other and, 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 and then after this is done they're like shaking hands and mm. okay mm. so that's the the, yeah, that's the advertise selling. and yeah that's mm. the, mm. how we sell things um, but that's not the not, not the whole truth was the 16 millimeter black and white uh, decision was that entirely to, to, to set the tone from a period perspective from a timing perspective or did you have other uh, ideas in mind as well no, that we we were shot all our films on 16 millimeter, and then um, and we tested lots of different film stocks. We tested also eight millimeter, and oh, is that right? Eh? And uh, yeah, just to get like like the the feeling. What what does this like different film textures bring to the image? And so it was not like how, how does it look. It was more like how does it feel like the, like the real texture of the. Film and I think our references were more like early 60s documentaries, right, like right. the direct cinema stuff, and and we chose to, this black and white. It was I think two months before the shootings, <laughs> so it was uh, it, it was quite a last minute decision. Yeah, yes. and yeah. Uh, you, you can imagine our producer, producer like what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, we had we were still waiting the German big TV company to make the pre-buy 
and then we had to say wow. like, and by the way, it's black and white. And did I, I also read too that you didn't get dailies, you got like bi-weeklies or something, yes. right? And so yeah, you, didn't, was... you didn't even really see what you had shot for no. several weeks. And, and from, the, from the first day of shooting, it took two and a half weeks <laughs> to get the, the first dailies or weeklies. Like, it was uh, terrible. Of course, we had tested the material, yeah, so we, yeah. we, we knew what we were doing but still it's always can i ask you a question about the, the the directing of actors i mean i i can't believe the 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 the, the, the beauty of the performances and the, and the continuity right from the get-go the kids in the car i knew that mm. i was going to be seeing a film with dynamite performances you guys do a lot of rehearsing is that your is that your theater is that your you don't you know you don't strike me as a uh, uh you know overbearing kind of director on the set how do you get that kind of performance out of these guys I by torturing yes <laughs> <laughs> and um, well we we've been knowing each other yes. a long time so I think yep. the communication between us is it's very easy we don't have to I don't, know, I don't have to explain and and I mean he they, they get, get what I'm thinking like seems like you probably uh, uh, built quite a community on the set. Yes, it's an uh, ensemble work. Also, the DOP is, we've been, this is our seventh film. I mean, the other ones were short, but but still. Uh, and I, I think there's, a, his work is extremely important also from the actor's view. I mean, yeah. how, how he watches, how he gives freedom to the, to the movement. We are not improvising on the set, but uh, um, and we 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 are making a long shot. Well, it's just such a joyful, delightful energy in in the whole film and the way it the way it plays out. It's it's really quite remarkable. Um, I want to ask you about one of this one of my favorite scenes. So many favorite scenes, by the way. <laughs> and again, congratulations on such a brilliant uh, film. Um, in the in the church, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was hysterical. They were at, sitting near the front row. They all start chatting about your weight. I believe. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. And, yeah. and and as you cut away, do I hear the last line of First Corinthians thirteen? The priest is yeah, yeah from yeah. from that that whole passage on love. Yeah. In in the New Testament. That's some it's beautiful. Yeah, I think that's the that's the one of the messages of this of this film. Of the whole yeah. film. Yeah. And you couldn't put it more clearly. Yeah. Like <laughs> But it was so, it was so well done. How I, how the one started and then the other started. And there, there, by the time we were done, there were five of you chatting. Was there five of you away uh, in the middle of a church service? It was fabulous. Yeah, yeah. you know that it was awesome. That's my experience yeah. from, from from my like countrymen. You know how mm. how we behave. We're like we try to be these adult men, yeah. but we fail constantly <laughs> because we are just like small kids. You know. Yes. And yes. we try, we really mm. try to have this kind of a responsible to, you know, in life and, and in that we don't always fail. But still, mm. you know, it's in every level it's about play and like you said, mm. about love. Mm. And I have to go back to the uh, one question before about the communication in a set, about uh, directing actor in this one. And it's also about trust. It's about trust yeah. and mm. it's about love. If you re really care about each other, you really care about, then you want to understand. You know, you really want to understand and you like start really listening together. What's, what are we creating? It becomes much more important, you know, than just working. Mm. And you know, and uh, the experience, similar experience with the uh, YP Passi, yeah. DOP is also this, uh, he's shooting, <laughs> with the cameras, and at the same time, I feel that he, he loves, you know, he's like, yeah. he loves us, you know, through the camera, and then, then you are free, then you are free. I'm, mm. I feel like, okay, now I'm accepted. I can, mm. it's totally okay. Everything's okay. I'm safe, and you know. Yeah, yeah no, I think, you know, you, there, there's a sense where I got, uh, Ollie was always um, trying to get back home, in a way. There was this, you know, what if, what if you don't love me? What if I fail? Yeah. You know, the the scene where he's out and and he finds the kite in the trees. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy. I mean, I don't know if that was right from his his story or not, but it's talking no, about play that, and love yeah. and just going. I just want to be here. I want to be. I want to be present. 
Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want to love this woman. Yeah. And I, I think that's, uh, that's a very important moment because he's also, also alone. So it's not just about the love between right. Right. Oli and Raya, <coughs> but it's like the, about the love for the life. And, 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 and yeah, to find the, the play, playfulness and, and the enjoy of life again. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, th I think that's also a very important scene for us. Actually, we skipped our lunch because we wanted to. <laughs> then we were shooting this scene in the, the, kite, in the kite uh, scene. Yeah, we we did it with a very very small crew. We stayed two or three days in a in this place, so we could we, we had a possibility to wait the, the perfect sun and. So I'm, very I'm, glad, I'm glad you missed your lunch. Yeah, yeah, okay. we were like, uh, seriously, the lunch was just ready, and then uh, now it's signing. Okay, let's go, and then then we ate oh. cold pasta. But I think it was quite yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's so brilliant to me about a, a narrative film like this is, and and you know, okay, let's make this film about Ali. It's, it's going to be historical, little docudrama like black and you know, make all these decisions, and you don't necessarily have the intentions of of what finally goes up on screen once the edit you know it's such a brilliant collaborative artwork uh, form in in my mind but the messages that are communicated the things that mm. come out just in such subtle beautiful ways that's, and that's your film is just evidence of that right through and through yeah that's something uh, that we are of course very very glad that it seems to communicate with the audience like very clearly Oh, and even though it, I, I mean the drama is quite flat, it's not like nobody dies or anything. It's like it's about very small details. But of it's about life. life. It's yes. this is this is what life is, and and it might be, the drama might be flat, but the the people aren't. Yeah, and the, I, the humanity I that comes out is just it's so compelling and engaging from the from the first frame. Yeah, and the 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 characters are so if if you fall in love with them, so yes. I think it's easy easy to live. live live uh, with this film and and then uh, yeah but it, I, it, I'm very happy that it communicates much better now than it, it was communicating with the, the with the script right because right. in the when we were writing it was like ah oh, this is hmm. is this enough is it enough right and yeah and so the phrase the, the title of the film is is right out of uh, what happened and that was the happiest day of his life, so yeah, therefore said, let's recreate that? Yeah, he, he said Says it, it. Uh, like, uh, because everybody, I, I think most of the people, they thought, of course, that this must have been like the worst days of his right. life. I mean, like to, to lose this fight again, uh, like in front of fully packed stadium. Yeah, yeah. And then he said like, no, it was actually the happiest day of my life. And that was something that I, I, I think that was the, moment when I really got interested about this guy yeah. and what makes it, what makes this day the happiest day. I'm, it's not just the rings. I, I think it's that they, oh, they, I, they I don't uh, know that, I, I don't know that it had anything to do with the rings. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, that, it's, it's, yeah. I think it's the day that we, we really set himself free out yeah. of the expectations See, is, okay, of other people. So this people. is where I wish we had another 45 minutes to chat because as a philosopher, I go, this is where the film now starts to become about, about about who we are as, as, as people. Yeah. yeah. And and being present is a, is going to get you to a happier day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Being present. Love love your wife. Love your kids. Uh, engage. Engage yeah. with people on the elevator, uh, in the restaurant. And so you know what I mean? Like yeah. we could really extend that based on on, yeah, on, on Ollie's life and, 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 and those those little the kite, right? Yeah, it's like Zen moments. Zen moments, <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. it's really, really beautiful. And, uh, and that that scene was the only one that, from the early early versions uh, of the script, that I had an opinion about. That I said to you that this is a key to my role for me. It's a it's a key scene with a kite because you know, uh, like you talked earlier, it's kind of a uh, he's 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 like a He's like he's totally free, with a kite, in a forest, mm. just by himself, full bumps. of love. You know, <laughs> getting getting his smile back yeah, on his face. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That's the like in my opinion, that's the biggest title you can ever get. Mm. You know, you yeah. just have to understand it. Yeah, mm. and that's not easy. I mean, but but still, it it is like that, and that's something that you know, I I in my life. 
I'm like rehearsing it all the time, mm. you know. Not the same, you know, same. Yeah. Right. I mean, we've all got the kites dangling in the tree, in the yeah. trees. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and how many times a day do yeah. we walk? Do we walk by them? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. courier or whatever. Right. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Just like passing by. So, so sadly, we've got to wrap it up in a minute or two. What, what's, do you have a what's next? Or are you just going to recover from what's coming uh, with the uh, film? And I'm writing now too. You getting ready to, to, to receive the Oscar? Or? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Not yet. Let, let's, uh, how, how did Dolly say it in English? Let's, uh, let's fight and see. Yeah, uh, that's right. Let's, let's wait and see. Let's yeah. wait and see. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, we actually. I'm writing two films nice. at the moment, and then we are shooting a silent film this winter. It's the first wow fiction film ever made in uh, Finland. It was made in 1907, and and they this silent film festival ordered a remake out of this. Wow! So amazing. we are making it. Wow, that's it's, really exciting. Yeah, and that's and a little a little daunting maybe as well uh, on some level. Uh, <laughs> it's. Uh, I think this 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 kind of side projects are mm. for me they are the kite. Right. It's, nice. It helps you to nice. keep the, the the playfulness and the the, the lightness of filmmaking. Well, I hope I hope you get to spend plenty of time backstage on the, on this film as well. <laughs> yeah, we've we've seen uh, lots of interesting moments backstage. The uh, the film is the happiest day in the life of Ali Maki. I'm here with uh, Yuho and Yarko. Mm. J and J, yes, yeah, excellent, guys. Wow, uh, may maybe we can do part two down the road uh, once you've accepted the Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for a delightful, <laughs> a beautiful, uh, and, and engaging film. I really appreciate your time and, and your generosity today. Thank you so much. Thank you.